Good evening and welcome to this week's edition of Sprout Kitchen. My name is Brassica Hardcastle and this week we're going to make sprout pizza and sprout coleslaw. First of all, I warmed the oven to uh, 200 degrees, it's heating up now ready for our pizzas. And I'm starting off with some pizza bases which I've bought because obviously we don't have time for all the dough making. So here we are, an oven tray with four pizza bases. Now in the pan over here, I've taken a couple of onions, I've sliced them up and I've softened them in some olive oil. Those have been cooking there for about five minutes. And into that, I'm now adding a very large clove of garlic, I'm going to leave that to soften for a few minutes. While that's softening, I'm going to put the base on my pizza. First of all, some tomato puree, a nice little squirt on each one. Let's spread that out a little bit like icing a cake or buttering a piece of bread. There we are. Nice tomato -y base. That should be fine. Let's give our onion and garlic a mixture a bit of a stir, and then we'll add into that. Uh, two teaspoons of uh, basil, uh, because there's no fresh basil at this time of the year, I've used basil from a jar. So let's stir that in, and let that simmer for a little longer. And let's add in some uh, pepper, fresh ground pepper, and some sea salt. And give that another bit of a stir. Just to show you the other ingredient, ingredients I've got here, we've got uh, red peppers and yellow peppers, courgettes, green peppers, and of course, our sprouts. Here we've got some sliced mushrooms. Don't worry about this, this is all for the coleslaw. And here, obviously, absolutely essential for a good pizza, grated mozzarella. So, on to the next stage. Now that the onion and the garlic and the uh, basil have had time to soften, Let's spread a little of that on each of our pizza bases for that lovely herby flavour. We look, we're looking to use about half of this mixture underneath the other vegetables and half on top. So let's spread that out a little bit. Put that inside. Now, the main attraction, the sprouts. Just about a handful. I've, I've obviously peeled these, I've washed them, and I've uh, sliced them to about two millimeters thick. Small handful on the top of each pizza base. Depending on how, how much sprout you like, you can obviously put a lot more than this. But uh, I think this is about right to get the right level of bite. There we are. So there's the sprouts. Then we add a little sprinkle of green peppers on each one. And uh, to keep the old colours going, let's have a bit of red and yellow pepper. Because we do, after all, eat with our eyes. And then we're going to add a little bit of courgette just around the outside. This is obviously a vegetarian um, pizza. You could easily add chopped bacon into the onion and garlic mixture if you're uh, serving this to meat eaters. Or if you like, you can add these little chappies. These are bacon flavoured chips that are suitable for vegetarians. I 
and you can sprinkle those on the top to give them a little bacon flavour if you want to. Let's give that a whirl. Now, at this point I think we're ready for the mushrooms. I like my pizzas with plenty of body. Well, I like most things with plenty of body, as you can see. So I'm putting a good handful of each vegetable on here. If you like something a little more modest, then obviously cut back your portions accordingly. But I do like a big portion. So there we go. Now we add on top of that the onion and garlic and basil mixture that you've saved. Sprinkle that over the top, and then on top of that, a handful of good old mozzarella on each one. Now by now, your oven is up at 200 degrees, so let's slide it in. And Set our time for 